Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini My Team Career Mode. Here today for part 57 for the Dutch Grand Prix and the first race back after the summer break. This is a grid then ahead of the Dutch Grand Prix. It's an all British front row headed by Lando Norris, then it's George Russell. Then it's Max Verstappen at his home Grand Prix and Charles Leclerc. Then it's Fittipaldi and Lewis Hamilton, Joe and Yuki Tsunoda. Ocon and Carlos Sainz round out the top 10. We are P11 alongside Liam Lawson in P12, Pacher and Ocon, Piastri our teammate and Lance Stroll, Hauga and Valtteri Bottas, Magnussen and Alex Albon, and on the final row of the grid is Nick De Vries and Logan Sargent. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the Grand Prix, we're going to be doing a one-stopper, started on the softs, going to the mediums, and like last time out in Belgium, no rain expected during the entire Grand Prix. This is our qualifying lap there, where we were purple in the first sector, but lost out in that final sector. A lap only good enough for P12 for us. There's a long race ahead of us then. Let's go then to the Dutch Grand Prix, and it's lights out, and away we go. We've got a good start, so is the Ferrari there. We find an old gap at the inside past the Mercedes. Down into turn one then, we're going a couple places. There's a McLaren and Albin side by side, right in front of us. We're going to get the exit round the back corner, go sailing around the outside of the Alpine. Have we got the McLaren as well? Yes, we have. What a move on the opening lap here in Zandvoort. We're now hunting down after Max Verstappen and Enzo Fittipaldi is Max Verstappen. Hasn't won a race in a long time in his career mode. As he overtakes with the party, can he win on home soil? As we didn't really have the pace of those in front. We tried and we left defending Joe Guan Yu behind us after we overtook him on the opening lap. Lap 9 now and here comes Joe trying to keep Ocon behind him. Round the outside goes Ocon. At the first corner, it's a great move by the Frenchman on lap 10 of the Grand Prix. And it wouldn't be long before at the end of that lap, he's caught the back of us. We're really going to squeeze him to the inside. Now, try and keep the pins around the outside. He's gone deep. There's a Ferrari in the middle of the track. We've managed to ghost through the Alpine. No damage. And now we're still racing. Esteban Ocon now through the back corner. Ocon gets past us, the safety car has been deployed and it makes dramatic corners, two corners of the season so far we did, we did really good under up and over on Ocon and then the Ferrari just sat in the middle of the track of Charles Leclerc, the safety car is out within a box but this is what happened Two Charles Leclerc just lit it up like a Christmas tree at the first corner and then just a sitting duck. We can kind of see our perspective here as we ghosted through the Ferrari and the Alpine and then what is he doing here? Leclerc just decides to reverse into our teammate Piastri who's been caught up there as he goes and falls all the way down to the back. And now we're going to race Esteban Ocon into the pit lane. We tried to get him and he ghosted again. I don't know why. They keep ghosting. Bit annoying. Bit unrealistic as well. But we're heading down the pit lane now. Time it to perfection. We're going on to the medium to get us to the end of the Grand Prix if everything goes to plan. We only just beat out the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. We come out miles behind Esteban Ocon, not like that matters anyway because we are going to catch a back up behind the safety car he's now around that back corner we go to catch the safety car now here we are then lap 13 and you can see in the background there was some one well, I think it was Valtteri Bottas he actually boxed so doing that Ferrari strategy from last time out in Spa and Ocon as well in that race where they waited to catch a safety car to then box on lap 14 now though we're on the back of Ocon as the race will be restarting 
Hopefully you've got a bit more place on these mediums than we did on the softs. So hopefully get us a bit further up the order. As now we're going to just stick to the back of the LP like glue to try and find our way past. And there's two more cars boxing as the race restarts. They're going to be down at the back. What are they doing? No, though. They're racing the Alpine. They're going to try and look to send it into the first corner. They're a bit too far back now. It's really about the exit. As we go through turn two and three, we're going to try and do to Hulk on what we did to him on the opening lap. Go around the outside of him. At the back corner, can we get the exit? We're side by side. Carlos Sainz in the background. He's waiting with the popcorn. He's now down the inside. Ocon tries to hold him around the outside. And Carlos signs and sticks his nose in there. And he's alongside Esteban Ocon. And ahead of Ocon. As they go into that corner. Ocon's lost two places on this lap. A great two side by side action now as Carlos Sainz will be hunting down as I'm sure but we were keeping the gap to the Ferrari as we attempt to try and catch Enzo Fisipaldi and continue to pull away but we've gone deep we've got we've pulled away on the grass we're in the barrier we've spun round and we've been hit by Ocon and Joe Ocon's out Joe's out we've got a damage to front wing the red flag is Flying here in Zambor, what a dramatic couple of seconds that was. Ocon is out, Joe is out after we make a big mistake there putting a wheel on on the grass. I mean, Mark saying they might bring out the safety car, they've just red flagged it. Don't know what he's been watching, but it's going to allow us to go on to another set of the mediums. And hopefully that they get us to the end of the race now. This is a replay of what happened then. We just went a bit wide, put a wheel on the grass and spun round and then got hit by Ocon and brings out the red flag. We have also got a penalty for that as well, which I okay, my mistake, but I can't really do anything sat in the middle of the track about that. This is Ocon's point of view then. As he comes round the corner, Sainz also just at the road, and now there he goes, he has so much time to react to that, surely, to see me in, in the middle of the track, I know I'm on the racing line, but Ocon's out, it's a big crash, caused by me, I admit, but Ocon there, did have quite a while to react to me, and then Joe just has nowhere to go, Joe's the innocent party in this, He's right on the back of Ocon. Ocon hits us and then Joe. No time to react to that one. Now this is Teo Pache's point of view and he's just hit the back of Joe and stopped. Anyway though, that's the crash. We need to get going again. We need to gain that five seconds back and we are racing once again. We've gone through Enzo Fittipaldi and Carlos Sainz and we're up into P4. As Lando is battling then Max Verstappen, he finds himself P2 in this race. As now we try to go to the outside of Lando Norris. We're all over the back of him now as we head through the kind of twisty part of, of the track. And what's a great part of the track when you nail it on the game. And now towards the end of the lap, lap 20 of 36. We're getting closer and closer to that McLaren. And we're going to send it down the inside of the stadium section and take P3 in the Dutch Grand Prix. Can we now get after Max Verstappen? And we need to do that because we need to build the gap behind the five second penalty we have from that crash. But for some reason the tyres just dropped off and we were struggling to pull away from Lando Norris, even though he was on hards. As Lando now, lap 22, on the inside of us, we hold it round the outside. And keep him behind for now, as there's starting to be quite a big train starting to appear behind us. As now then, this is Lando again, one lap later. We're really going to squeeze him to the inside, Lando. As it's on the inside, we try and hold it round the outside. 
They're still there on the outside. Lando's not giving up on the inside. He sweep around the outside and stay ahead of our fellow Brit who was on pole here, so he's dropped down. Didn't even um, think about that at the time. As we're really going to squeeze him to the inside once again. One lap later, round the outside. We try and keep him behind. We do keep him behind. Now though, Lando all over the back of us. We had no pace on these medium tyres. Lando's hard's working much better. We make him go deep. And now we've left him vulnerable to the Aston Martin, the tail per chair. What a move by the chair there. Up into P2, Aston Martin. Not really been there this season so far. The chair now on our outside. We really squeeze him to the edge of the track. We force him wide. Lando Norris now is going to have a look back on the inside to retake P3 in this Grand Prix. Lap 27, we're all over the place to try and keep them behind. The chair's on our outside. We try and force him the long way round. Lando Norris sees an opportunity to go down the inside of the Aston Martin and retake P4 in this Grand Prix. Lap 29 now, you can see the train ever getting bigger. Lando now on our outside. We've made contact with him, there's contact there surely as we head into turn one. Now though, this is Lando who's lost out to the Aston Martin again and now he's coming back at the Aston Martin round the outside of the first corner. Great move for Lando Norris and now he's back on the back of us as he goes to the inside. Now heading down that straight, round the outside we try and keep him behind. We do keep him behind just Lando has to back out of that one for now. Lap 32, the entire field now is behind us pretty much as Lando goes to the inside of us. And this time he might have us, but we're still going to keep it pinned around the outside. Can we get the exit? Lando's a lot further ahead here than he had been, but he still backs out of it. And we keep P3 in this Grand Prix. George Russell leading then. The Dutch Grand Prix and he's slowing down at the bank corner. Max Verstappen takes the lead of his home Grand Prix as that Mercedes engine has looked to have failed in the back of the Mercedes, gifting the lead and probably the win surely to Max Verstappen as we round that bank corner now we're still racing Lando Norris to the inside goes Lando yellow flags waving Lando has to back out of it but Pacheco's going to try and go back around the outside of the McLaren has to back out of it as there is George Russell pulling off to retire of the Grand Prix now though lap 35 of 36 Lando's on the inside we hold it to the outside then of Lando Norris. Lando's on the inside once again. And Pacher has seen a chance to send it around the outside. Catches Lando Norris napping after trying to get past us. But he's made, he's made a mistake on the exit and Lando's got him back. What a dramatic race this is turned into. We're now in P2 but we're miles now look at the track, the entire field is behind us essentially. Look at the trolley train that is behind us, you can see it here. The entire field, it might as well be a safety car behind us. But as we round the final corner, lap 35 we go by Lando Norris has just sailed straight past us there. We're on the back of him though, he really goes to the inside. We keep him on the inside. We're going to go around the outside to retake P2 in this race. Max Verstappen, miles on the road in this Grand Prix. Nearly a pit stop. And here he is, Max Verstappen. After two winless seasons then. The Red Bull has been terrible. Yes, he's got a lucky with the Mercedes retirement for George Russell. But he wins the Dutch Grand Prix round the Dutch Max Verstappen drone here at Zandvoort. We are going to come home then if we can keep Lando Norris behind one more time. He's going to go to the inside. We get closer. We're going to squeeze him to the wall. His contact. 
There's contact with Lando Norris. A difficult race the then on a circuit that demands complete concentration, but they persevere to take the win here today. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? I want to know if that was as easy as it looked. An absolute masterclass today. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They've performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. So that's been your Dutch Grand Prix then and I feel like that's a win that's been coming for a very long while for Max Verstappen. Lando Norris finishes P2, the chair P3 and we finish them with the penalty after having basically the entire field behind us. P2 on the road, P15 after the penalty. We just didn't have any pace on those medium tyres. I don't know whether he had an engine issue or front wing damage or something if we over, when we took over to Lando. The car just weren't at it today. Today. No, no points on the board. Lewis Hamilton finishing in P8. The championship now. Lewis Hamilton only gaining a couple of points on us in the end. 38 points now the gap because we did push it back out last time out in Spa. Although it's a poor race for us, it would have been 18 points without the penalty. We haven't taken that big of a hit. Max Verstappen now has re-jumped George Russell in the championship after that retirement for George from the lead. Oscar Piastri P9 and still your drivers. Still yet to score both the Haas and Logan Sargent. The constructors now then and it is seven points the gap between us and Mercedes the gap has come down I think it was nine after last time out in Spa the fact George has retired from this race has really helped us in the championship because otherwise that gap's way bigger than it has ended up being and then still the one team still at score in Haas down at the bottom of the constructors table so that's been then your dutch grand prix i hope you enjoyed it very dramatic race in the middle we go though to our home grand prix as a team next at monza and i hope we can get back to winning ways and forget this race ever happened because that was embarrassing goodbye